happy Monday. How are you? Uh, hi, I'm Paola Guillon. I'm a success coach and professional tango dancer in Austin, Texas. And I love doing those live every Monday morning to get started right for the week. So today what I would like to talk about is how the anger expressed by women in our culture is usually a base for shame uh, by people in general. Uh, there is a very distinct difference between the way we contemplate a woman getting angry compared to a man getting angry. And we have a lot of pushback when it comes to women getting pissed off. So a few weeks ago, it might have been a couple of months now, I did a video that talked about anger and how ideally we don't want to project our anger onto other people. We want to be able to control our behavior and, uh, and not project negative emotions onto others. And I still believe in that, and this is still valid. What I really would like to address today is emotions are valid. And one of the points that I make in my practice is to really differentiate cultural expectations from the authentic self. And when it comes to anger, and women expressing that emotion or even just allowing themselves to have that emotion. There is an unfairness when it comes to our culture. If a man gets angry and expresses that anger, he may be considered strong or valid or a good leader. If a woman does the same thing, she is, well, there are words for that, but she is going to lose on that aspect. She's not going to be as valued. She's not going to be, her message is not going to be as valid because she had an emotion. All emotions are valid. What we do with it, okay, that's a different story. What I'm concerned about is repressing emotions are only going to make them work against you. So Brené Brown, love her, has a very, uh, says that about shame. It's like shame cannot live if it's being named. So by recognizing our shame, it's already the process of making it go away. By appreciating and recognizing that we get angry, this is the first step towards letting it go away. So all emotions are valid. Getting pissed off is valid giving us the opportunity to recognize that yes, I'm feeling angry and yes, I'm allowed to feel angry is the first step towards moving away from it, processing it. And most importantly, and that's something that I love and hate about anger and anger is an indicator. And, it, and it's a vicious one because when we get angry, a lot of times we stay angry, which is very counterproductive. However, we all do it. Everybody does it. And that can be about something very important. That can be about something really trivial. But we've all been there. We've all been in that situation where we got angry and we stay angry. Anger is an indication of something that we need to work on about ourselves. Anger is a trigger of something that is going on inside of us. In a way, anger is your friend because it's the one poking you on top of shoulders like, hey, you may want to look into that because if you get deregulated by that type of experience, it's because something needs to be spoken because there is something that you have the opportunity to look at and it's going to be hard, but you have the opportunity to look at it and grow from it. So it's really annoying because hey, you're angry and then you have to get out of there and remind yourself, yeah, that anger is an indication. Something is bothering me and it's not bothering me because of somebody else. It's bothering me because of me, because of my shadow, because of what I'm afraid I'm going to do, because of what I'm concerned I could be. So anger is magnificent in that way, that we have so many facets about it. But first of all, it is so important to me that women allow themselves to name and feel that anger. To project it onto others, maybe not, but we'll do the best we can until we get there. But allowing ourselves to feel it, allowing ourselves 
to tell yourself this is there, this is the way I'm feeling about it. What does that say about the situation? Where can I grow from it? And then grow from it. But if we are in a culture where already we're being shamed, demeaned, boxed, categorized, um, because we're even just having that emotion, I don't think that's productive and I don't think that's fair. Genders both have emotions. All genders are allowed to experience those emotions and all genders are allowed to name it and grow from it. So I'm going to post a link about an article that I found in the Times that is, it's really long, but I think it's very revealing. And, and I welcome your feedback on that because it's a, we're allowed to get pissed off. We're allowed. Projecting it on others, maybe not. But being allowed to name it and really grow with it. Yes? All right. So uh, give me feedback on that article if you get around. It's a long one, but if you get around to reading it, I'd love to hear from you. And until next week, reach for the greatest version of yourself. You can do it. Bye-bye.